but in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I was looking at some classic romantic paintings and realized that there was not a lot of representation of queer people in some of these older love paintings. So I wanted to kind of make this little series where I um, take these, these classic paintings and turn them into queer paintings with representations of gay people, and I thought I would start with this one, In the Bed, The Kiss by toulouse Lautrec. So basically what I did here is I was trying to mimic his style and I learned a lot when I was painting. I noticed that he had kind of this rusty color for his undertone and then on top of that he went in with oil painting and it looked like he used either some smaller brushes or some pencils or something to make this kind of scribbly effect on the top. So I definitely learned a lot with this painting because um, even though I was pretty much just trying to mimic his style, I was still learning techniques and, and learning what he did. In order to make this painting. This is definitely a big representation of trust the process because there are a lot of points throughout the, the making of this where I wasn't sure how well it would come out. I didn't change a lot with this painting. What I mostly wanted to do was emphasize that the other person was a woman instead of a man and so I made her face and her arms a bit more slender and gave her longer hair and some jewelry, which you'll see at the end. I was thinking about changing the characters to make them very different, but again I just wanted to make sort of an extension of this classic painting and just change it as if uh, toulouse Lautrec had painted it to be two women. Now I was looking into the history of this painting to make sure it wasn't actually two women and I was just completely mistaken, and uh, pretty much the biggest thing that I came across was that it was meant to be a woman in a brothel, and this kiss was meant to represent something that is not real love, just um, a moment of lust and passion um, when you go to a brothel. <laughs> Um, not very relatable for me, but maybe for someone, I don't know. But the way I approached this was, before knowing that, I just saw it as a, a, a moment of passion between two lovers, and that's really what I tried to emulate in this painting. Again, like I said, I didn't change too much, but I did learn a lot about his uh, practice as, as I moved to the painting. I did all the painting on one layer, which I normally would never do. I used an oil brush tool and a type of pencil marker tool. And uh, I like the way that they blended together on the canvas, so I decided to do it all on one layer. Um, it looks like the way Toulouse Retract painted it is he had an underpainting and then he went on top of that with more oils and he went on top of that again with either pencils or a smaller brush with oils and did some scribbly things on top. So I had my first layer of my drawing and then I allowed that to kind of blend in with the oil paints. Again, this is all digital media, but the way these brushes work was pretty similar to the way the traditional brushes work. And then once I had finished with the underpainting of the oils, I went on top of that with my pencil tool and um, some different colors and scribbled around to find some of the edges and to find some of the shadows. Lechuk has this interesting way of making the shadows kind of a bluish teal and the highlights are more of a pinky gold, which I really liked. I really like to try this type of style again with different skin tones and see the colors I could pull out of those. This was a pretty challenging painting for me because I haven't done digital art in a while, but I ended up really liking it. I had a lot of fun with it, even though I was just playing off of exactly what the track had done and finding um, my own little pieces in it and making the making the women more feminine and making the partner um, a woman instead of a man. It was super fun though, and in the end you'll see as we come to the end here, that I, I took a quote from Pinterest. I like the vibe it added to it, and overall I'm pretty happy with this painting. Definitely want to continue the series, this is the first one that I'll be doing, um, but I have to find some more paintings and some styles that I want to emulate, and I, I've definitely learned a lot from this, and I'm excited to see what I can learn from other styles of painting. Um, when you're trying to do traditional looking painting in a digital space, it, it can be pretty challenging, and I'm still learning a lot about uh, different brushes and things like that, but um, that's kind of what this, the goal is. I'm trying to learn new things for digital painting from classical paintings, and um, I've definitely learned a lot about color already at this point. So yeah, I really enjoyed this painting process. I might go back and um, change it later on my own if I, if I feel like I want to, because I, I didn't love the way the hair came out of the second woman, because obviously I wasn't basing it so much of, off of the tracks hair because I, I did it in my own way. Um, I like the, the general roughness of her hair though, I just wish that I had made it the shape more um, stiff, more put together, I guess I'd say, like the other woman's hair. But again, overall, very happy with the way this came out. 